Hi, I'm here today to talk about the R8 750. The R8 750 is a lightweight Class D amp with features such as Tube Tone, Spectacom, Tweeter Tone. It got three presets and a chromatic tuner and a semi-parametric EQ section. In this video, I will go in details with all the features of this amp. So stay tuned if you want to know more. So basically, this amp works like any other amp out there. It got a gain section, an EQ section, and a master section. On top of that, we have added so many cool features to this amp, so let's get started. Let's start with the input section. The input section takes both passive and active basses, and it's all about getting the right amount of gain, and therefore we have added a red LED to indicate when you have too much gain. Let's try it out. Just a hair down. And you're good to go. Let me show you the chromatic tuner. The tuner is always on, so you can always see if you're in tune. Right now, the triangle is indicating that I'm a bit too low. And now it's indicating I'm a bit too high. When you see the circle, you are in tune. Of course, you can tune your bass while the amp is muted. And this LED ring becomes a more accurate tuning indicator. You're in tune when you're at 12 o'clock. One problem bass players have in general is that the G string is a bit lower than the E string or B string and this makes you compensate while you're playing. We have addressed this with our world famous compression technology and put it in the R8750 and called it Spectacomp. Spectacomp is a multiband compressor which means it compresses the treble, middle and bass. This evens out the volume between the strings and on top of that it tightens up and gives some muscle to your sound. Just to clarify how it works, I will play two examples, one without and one with. Now I'm going to dial in some compression. Tube tone is for the bass players who love the sound of a vintage amp. It's not only an emulation of the pre-tubes, it's also an emulation of the power tubes. The sound will go from warm up to a grittier sound to totally dirty. Let's try it out. <laughs> I'll put some tube tone into it. Put some even more. And now all the way to 11. The EQ section looks like a normal EQ section, and of course you can use it like that. But if you want to change the tone of one of the knobs, you can just push shift and then it becomes a semi-parametric EQ section where you can change the center frequencies for each knob. Let me show you how. I'm about to dial in my scoop sound for my slap bass. I've already added some bass, cut some low mid and added some treble. And I want to cut some high mid as well, but I can't seem to find the right spot. So what I'll do, I'll just crank all the way up the low mid, and then I'll use my semi metric EQ to find the center frequency.
Mm. I think it's there, and now I have changed the frequency of the knob. Press shift again, and then cut. Let's hear it. There you go. Tweeter tone is the same as the knob on the L-pad on the back side of your cabinet that controls the amount of high frequencies to the tweeter. We've just placed it on the front for easy access. To get to the tweeter tone, you have to push shift. Then the spectre comp becomes tweeter tone. At the 12 o'clock position, it's neutral, and then you can add and cut. If you want a more open sound, a more modern sound, you can just add this and you'll get the sparkling sound of the tweeter. If you're more into vintage, just cut all the way down. Now I've shown you the gain section, the EQ section, spectre comp, tweeter tone, and tube tone. I've stored all these settings into the preset number one out of three. Now I want to make a rock sound and store it into preset number two. First of all, I will add some more bass, add some mid, remove some treble, add some spectre comp, some tube tone for the grid, and remove the tweeter tone. That's the rock sound I want. To store it, you just press and hold the preset button number two, and when it blinks, it's stored, like an old car radio. So now, preset number two is pretty rocking. Preset number one, a scoop sound. Easy. On the back side of the R8 750, we have the state of the art line driver where you can choose between pre and post. Pre, that is direct out, post, you get the flavor of the amp. Send return is for having your pedals in a loop or you can link several amps so you can build your wall. The auxiliary input is for music in your headphones while you're rehearsing. And digital output, a connection for the headphones, a connection for the Footswitch RC4, and a speaker out where you can choose between speaker or a quarter inch jack cable. This is the optional Footswitch RC4 where you can mute, tune, and switch between the three presets. So now I have walked you through the features of the R8750. If you want to dive deeper into details, then visit our website tcelectronic.com slash base.